Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and today we are going to take a look at how I edit this photo and turn it into this photo. This photo for me got actually quite a bit of traction on Instagram so I just wanted to actually show you guys how I walk through this edit. Last Wednesday I got to go out with my buddy in his brand new 2019 Tiguan R-Line. It is such a sweet car. We didn't have too much time out there. We just wanted to head out for sunset. Uh, we were mostly just hanging out actually and it was a really good time but I was able to capture some photos and some video and I'll roll that b-roll for you guys before we head to the computer. And then also I took a photo with a CPL filter. So I did two exposures when you turn the CPL filter and then you kind of block out different parts of the windshield and the car to reduce reflections. And I'm gonna show you guys how I walk through that edit. And then some of the really cool tools that I use in Lightroom that I think are pretty underrated um, to make the image pop. So let's roll into that B-roll and then we'll head to the office and I'll show you guys how I edit this photo. And sorry, one last quick update before we head up to the office. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, you might want to because next weekend on Sunday, I'm heading up to Edmonton to an airport to a hangar to shoot not one, not two, not th three, but maybe four supercars. So if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe so that you guys can be around for when that happens and that's gonna be a heck of a lot of good time. I think it's like well, probably over $400,000 worth of vehicles plus airplanes. So it's like, this is like a million dollar photo shoot. Whew. Okay, up to the office, here we go. All right guys, so here we are inside of Lightroom and I have tagged these two photos. You guys can see that in this photo, I blocked out the left side of the car with the polarizer filter. And on this photo, I moved it up more towards the hood. What I'm gonna show you guys is basically where I take this edit in Lightroom, some of the basic tools that I use to edit these two photos. Then we're gonna pull it into Photoshop, do some cleaning up of the image, some dodging and burning, um, and then bring it back into Lightroom for the final touches. So, you can see here that I haven't done any edits, but what I will show you is quickly what my next edits were. So these two photos are the same, and essentially I did an edit on one photo and then copied and pasted all those edits over to the next one. So you can see here some of the edits that I did here, basically reducing the highlights up in the shadows to get a lot of detail out of the car, bringing down the whites to make sure I can see all the sky, and then holding option and clicking and dragging my blacks so that I have all of those blacks still available. Um, I like to desaturate my images a lot and then bring back the colors that I want later. This allows me to kind of use um, split toning and stuff to kind of make sure that my tones throughout my whole entire Instagram are looking the same. So if you desaturate, you gotta get a lot of control about what you bring back. Um, just some basic adjustments to my S-curve, again, just to maximize exposure. Uh, I tend to do this color tone with my yellows and greens to kind of warm up the trees. It just kind of makes the greens look less green and a little bit more warm and fall-like. I tend to like that. Um, not heaps going on here. And then these are kind of my settings for my split toning, 3410 to 2010. And then later on, I'll do this again and then adjust the balance. And then I make sure there's no sharpening on this image as we are going to be bringing it into Photoshop and then bringing it back and we'll do some final sharpening on the final image. Uh, we do enable profile correction and chromatic aberration reduction. Um, something though that I did do in this photo that you won't be able to see is my radial and graduated filters. So I actually do add a radial filter over the car to adjust some of the exposure here and then increase the contrast just to make sure it looks a little bit more normal. Um, but it just pulls a little bit of detail towards the car and then these graduated filters as well. I'm darkening up the sky and the road just to draw more attention to the car. Not too crazy, a little bit subtle, um, but yeah, if you weren't looking, you might not notice that edit. So that's about all that I did here in Lightroom. So let's transfer over to Photoshop. To get over there, you click on both of these images 
and then right click and you hit edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop and then what this will do is it will well it opens them as layers in Photoshop so if we come over here you'll see photo one and photo two and I'm just gonna disable this mask for now take away all this good stuff so yeah this is our main image and then this is our secondary image you can see that they don't perfectly align actually so what I had to do is you click on both layers in here in Photoshop you come up to edit and then auto align layers and what this does is you just hit auto and it will auto align the layers I'm not going to do it because I've already done it but that will just make sure that any inconsistencies in your photo should line up okay and this one did an okay job not a perfect job but you'll see that if I kind of click back this layer on you'll see that the layers aren't perfect but they're pretty close you can see it in the tires that they kind of adjust a little bit so what I did here is essentially I just took this second um, photo I created a mask which is down here as you can see I do that there and then I invert that mask so you double click that you can scroll down here and make sure you click invert and then once you've done that I don't need the second mask once you've done that you come over to your brush layer here click on your brush make sure it's on white because now we have a black background you can see there so we're gonna click on white and then you just start painting in the parts of that image that you want over top so we wanted to make sure we took obviously the windshield to make sure that we were utilizing the CPL there you can see in the grill here there was a little bit more highlight so I wanted to get those back and then some of the tires and stuff I wanted to get back as well okay so once I painted all that in, you can see kind of what I took from the second image and painted back in once I had that done I did a little bit of a cleanup layer so I didn't have to do too much but I wanted to get rid of uh, the stuff on the side of the car and just like some of the minor details it wasn't really too bad and I didn't want to spend too much time on it but you can see here what I was able to do on the side of the car specifically and to do that was a little bit of the spot healing brush tool and I just kind of painted over these areas I wanted to get rid of and as well I actually took the paint brush and if you option click on a color you can select that color and then I painted that back in kind of over where the trees were showing up here uh, and reflecting on the car so I just kind of actually painted that over top and I think it turned out okay and then the last step I take in Photoshop is dodge and burn so again to do that you're gonna create a new layer by clicking down here and this layer you're actually gonna switch into overlay mode so you click this drop down menu come down to overlay and then from there you take your paintbrush and you're gonna switch this back to white and black and then you make sure your flow is at like a decent rate you really don't want this to be too high and overdone I tend to find I find myself around six to ten percent when I'm dodging and burning and then you just kind of draw in the details here um, and then again for the shadows you're just trying to draw a little bit more attention to the highlights so you're taking away details and making kind of the edges look a little more sharp in this particular photo I think you'd want to go in around here like to the nose and kind of paint that down make that look a little bit more edgy kind of in this like area here again just to kind of bring attention to the lines of the car so that's kind of how you dodge and burn in really basic steps so you can see that it's really subtle but it brings a little bit of attention adds a little bit of aggression and we don't need that layer but yeah you can see what I've done here with my dodging and burning a lot in the wheels obviously to kind of bring those out a bit in the highlights and the shadows you can see up in the hood here I did a lot of that as well and this line here just to kind of again just bring attention to the sharp sharpening of edges on the car um, bringing attention to details you want to bring attention to pretty fun stuff all right so from there I saved it back into Lightroom so we'll head back over here and this is our final image so it's quite a bit different than where we started from um, and as you can see some of my adjustments here I didn't do too much to exposure added a bit of contrast saved some more of my highlights um, and then just kind of started stylizing my photo so you can see my s curve here does a little bit of work in uh, helping it pop a little bit and adjusting some of the colors again in the luminance um, hue and saturation and then just pulling out the colors that I wanted I noticed a lot of blues were coming into the photo here so I actually pulled out the aqua aqua tends to find itself a lot in the windshield so 
I tend to just pull those down and then if I want the blues in the photo, I bring the blues back. But for this specific photo, I do a lot of split toning just to make sure it matches my grid. Um, and so you can see I add that 220 blue with the five and the four on the 35 there. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> and then I adjust the balance down towards the blue end so that my uh, road looks a little bit more blue. Then from here, guys, we do add sharpening. Um, this one, I didn't add too much, but again, a big trick that I use here is hold option and then click on your masking. And this will show you exactly what you're sharpening just to make sure we're pulling our subject out of the photo as much as possible. You, if you can see here, if you don't do any masking, you're sharpening everything, which can add a lot of noise to your photo. So I make sure that I'm just sharpening the things that I want on my vehicle here. And then again, noise reduction. I did add some noise reduction just to pull out some of the kind of dirt and grit that you can see in this photo here. Um, but the big stuff again that I did is around my filters. So this one, again, I just added a little bit more punch on the car here. You can see it just adds a bit more love on that thing, pulling it out of the photo a little bit. And guys, I think that like these tools are some of the most underrated photos. A lot of people these days are just slapping on presets and then just calling it a day. Um, but you guys can use brushes, radial filters, and, and these circular filters to really draw attention to your subject and pull them out of the frame. So you can see a little bit of what I did there on this one. Again, pulling up the shadows, adding contrast, because whenever you add shadows, it doesn't really look natural anymore. So if you add that contrast back in, it kind of makes it just vibe with the photo a little bit better, a bit of exposure. And then again, have a few graduated filters on this one. This one here, I'm just bringing down a little bit on the sky um, and just reducing saturation and exposure. And it looked like I did a little bit of uh, temperature dialing in there as well. Um, but as you can see, I added another one here and this one's kind of fun. This one adds what like is motivated light is essentially what it's called. Um, and without this, it just kind of is a really flat photo again. So you don't see too much there, but with adding motivated light, it kind of makes it look like the sun is still kind of bringing uh, direction into your photo, which adds depth. And uh, I think it makes the, the car pop out of the photo a little bit better. So this is how I use kind of those graduated filters pull attention away from where you don't want it, like the road and the sky, and then adding a bit of motivated light here with adding exposure and a bit of warmth in there, making it look like the sun. And then from there, guys, it's pretty much just an export and you can export that however you like at whatever size you like. But that is how I edit my photos. Really, it's just some basic editing, bring it into Photoshop, clean it up, add those CPL angles as best as you can, Dodging and burning is so huge and then uh, kind of style and edit however you like. And that's kind of my process. All right, guys, that is it. So I hope that you learned something from this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button for me. Comment down below if there's any questions you guys have or if I missed covering something. But I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my content. Uh, it means a lot to me. So thanks to all the subscribers that have made it along so far. Let's keep going. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.